you can see here points you have learnt about points in last video if i ask you what is this what will you say it is a line because we know that line is a collection of points this is a line according to you well you may not be entirely wrong in a language of geometry this is not a line then what is this well this is a line segment in this case point p and point q are two fixed points it shows its limit when both the ends are fixed then it is a line segment but if this is a line segment then what is the line can you see this figure very special property of line is that it extend unendingly on both the side it extends unendingly on both the sides in this case you can see there is an arrow mark both the ends can you see this these arrow signifies that the line can extend unendingly on both the ends now let us see how it extends it extends both the sides it extends both the sides and it is not having any length it cannot be measured this line cannot be measured now you can see in the above figure line segment those two points are fixed so you can there is say you can say there is a limit in between these two points so this is in fixed length it has line segment has fixed length and this line is not having fixed length because it can be extended both the ends right so line segment has two end points and the line has got two arrows in both the side it shows it can be extended can you see here more lines these all lines you can see are straight in geometry in mathematics we when we say line we mean straight line a line is a set of infinite number of point a line has no specific length it can be extended infinitely both the ends how do we name a line we can name a line by two ways a line is named using small letter where you can see here small letter a and it can be written like line a or it can be also written by using any two points on a line these can be seen here p and q are the two points on the line and those two points can be taken to name its line so line pq or you can say line qp it can be denoted by symbol of line let us know more about line segment in this figure point q and point p are fixed points this shows its limit they are called end points the line segment has got two end points p and q a line segment is a part of a line now let us see some common objects which give us an idea of line segment observe these objects carefully it shows end points showing its limits so we can measure the length of line segment now let us learn how do we name line segment can you see two points point p and point q using these two end points we can name line segment write end points name together you can write in both ways pq or q 
QP. You can see here it can be denoted by segment symbol. Observe this example. Line segment can be measured. Today we have learnt line segment and line.